So this interview is just basically your time on FCKL, the FCKL? Yeah. Um, I de yeah, I describe it as emotional, if I'm being honest. Um, it's been a it's been a roller coaster of a ride since I arrived. Put a lot of work in to help make the place better. Um, met some wonderful people, incredible people that you know uh, I think very highly of, um, and that, that I really respect, and that I've had a great time. I've made some great friends, and it's, I was saying to my under 16s that they're not just friends, eh? They they're family now. I've, uh, I, I'm going home feeling proud that I can say I've got, as well as an English family, I've got a Malaysian family now. I, I want to say what I've achieved. I always believe it's a team thing, mate. Like, I couldn't do the bits that I'd do if it wasn't for Andy's backing. So if it wasn't for Andy even giving me the backing in the first place, I wouldn't have. But then not only that, the, the support of the, the coaches we have around us, Without them, I couldn't implement what I want to do and what me and Andy wanted to do and things like that. So I always see it as a team effort. So I won't say it's what, what I've done, but I just think from before I started, uh, I'll, I'll be honest, I don't think the club was in a very good position when I started here as, as a coach. There was so many problems and so many things not done correctly. Um, and then started to work on those, um, it started to get better and then uh, I got fortunate enough to take on that position of technical director and I think it grew far faster and bigger than I ever anticipated and expected. It seemed to just boom, you know, me and Andy said it's going to be, you know, where we are today I thought that would take us at least two to three years where we are today and then to get to where we want, you know, another three years on top of that so to have done what we've done in about a year, just over a year. I think it's been amazing, it's, it's skyrocketed, it's gone in such a great direction, there's so many big changes and different things and one of the big things I can see is consistency along sessions. Before when I first arrived, you looked at sessions and they were all over. You know, there was, everybody was completely different, you could see polar opposites in the session. Now you look, you can see that there is an FCKL structure to a session. You can see coaches working on similar things or at least similar structure to the sessions. You can see a warm up. You can see 1v1s, 2v2s or football fitness. You know what I mean? Then you can see a game related practice or a phase of play and then a conditioned game. It's You can actually actively see that now. Whereas at the beginning you couldn't and I think that's probably, that might seem like a little thing to people or a little thing people don't notice, but that's actually a huge, huge, that's probably our biggest thing to have got that good level consistency in training because at the end of the day, it's the kids that matter. So they're getting top quality service now. So, you know, I, I think that's one of the biggest achievements. Can I say Nasi Lamak? <laughs> uh, I think growth um, as a coach, growth as a coach. Um, I feel there that obviously I'm, I'm going to be working with people who are are going to be far more experienced than me, far more qualified than me, a lot more knowledge uh, than myself. So, and guys that have implemented their knowledge at the highest level, the, these, the guys that are still working there are guys that were there when Huddersfield was in the Premier League. So these are guys that's tested their knowledge at the Premier League. Um, so that excites me to go and have an opportunity to learn from them. I do have a video for you. Have a look at. Right. So I see trees of green, red and roses too. I see. Tell you what, I should have been a singer, not a coach. For me and you, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I like cameras. <laughs> cameras don't like you with that face. <laughs> <laughs> radio prefers you, Billy. Got a face for the radio. Three. Two, one. <laughs> That's not the same person. <laughs> That's a different guy. No, Sean, Sean, centre mid, centre mid. Seanie, Seanie, why are you wide? Sean! <laughs> I remember that. Like, <laughs> Sean! Sean! This oh. is the coach, guys. I would like to say thank you very much for everything you've done this past year. It's going to be really sad to see you leave this club. But I wish you all the best in the UK and good luck in your new coaching journey. Hi coach guys, 
Firstly, I want to say thank you for the three years you spent with us at FCKL. You've made us better footballers, but not only that, you made us better people in general. We're all congratulating you on your new job at Huddersfield, and we all wish you the best of luck. Hope to see you soon. Hi, coach. Hi, coach. <laughs> good, good luck, good, good luck at Huddersfield Town. Thanks for teaching me uh, what it means to be a good and a good and humble player. And uh, I really appreciate you making me so comfortable into like coming into the team. Uh, thanks, coach, for taking me in from under 14s right after I've been dropped in under 13s, and this is transforming me into the player I am today. Uh, now I'm able to communicate my players and I'm confident in what I do. Thanks coach. Thanks coach. Thank you so much for everything you've taught me and the team the past two years. You've completely changed who we are as people and as players and I really, really, really thank you for that because you've been the magician behind it all. Um, I also want to say congratulations on your place at Huddersfield and you completely deserve the play place. Hope you eat cross paths again in the future and I hope to see you on the big stage soon. All the best. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, that's hey, brilliant. Bro. Yeah, that pulls on the heartstrings. <laughs> yeah, that's brilliant. Ah, uh, there we go. Yeah, that one has got me. I didn't expect that. <laughs> you buggers, you got me. I'd like to think this is, this is not goodbye, this is see you later. We've worked ridiculously hard. The work ethic that's, that's been put in here has been incredible. So keep up that work, keep up that hard work, keep fighting, keep moving forward. The, the progression we've had has been amazing. So I think this needs to, to continue on now. The only way we're gonna do that is by sticking to our core values where we would do work hard. Um, you know, we have commitment, respect, uh, integrity, um, be good humans first, um, good footballers will follow after that naturally, so um, don't change, you've made me feel very special since arriving here, um, so thank you for that, the, the club and everyone here, I've, I, I have felt nothing but, but love and kindness and support and um, you know people's made me feel special, uh, made me feel like somebody. Um, and that's, that's incredible, so please don't change. Continue to do the same for others. Look after others, be kind, make them feel special. Make everybody feel like a somebody. Because um, it's meant the world to me. Um, and like I say, I've, I've gained a family here now, so continue being good people that work hard, look after each other and put kindness at the heart of everything you do. Uh, and I just want to say thank you so much for giving me the opportunities that you've given me for believing in me, for backing me, for supporting me uh, and giving me a platform to go and work. Um, I wouldn't be going on to the job I'm going on to now if it wasn't for the foundations that this club gave me um, and the opportunities that, that was given to me here at FC Kuala Lumpur. So I, I'm not going there thinking that, oh, look at me, I'm, I'm special, I've got it there. It's thanks to, to you guys, you, you shaped who I am. It's Everything's a team effort. Um, I'm the person I am today because of the people that supported me here and believed and backed in me here. So I want to say a massive thank you because I wouldn't be able to go and challenge myself at the level I'm going to now if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you so much. Nothing but love and respect. Thank you.